Okay, this is a 2010 Prius, and I'm going to be replacing the parking lights. Uh, they're situated in your headlamp in this little hole right here. So there's your uh, regular lights, high beams, and then up at the top, that is your parking light. Uh, so here's what the old bulb looks like um, right there. I got new bulbs off of Amazon. I want to say they were five, six bucks for two bulbs. And they're LED, so I should never have to replace these. They should last forever. Now to get, uh, this is the uh, structure right here that came out of this hole. And to get it out of this hole, what you do is you reach underneath and uh, you need to wear some rubber gloves or latex gloves so you don't get your hands filthy. Uh, and then once you get under there, I actually use my left hand to reach in and around. And once you're under there, you can feel it sticking like that and you can see it move through the glass so you know you've got a hold of it and then you t turn uh let's see from the top you go clockwise a half turn and then to put it back in you just put it back into the slot you can see through the glass to see what you're doing uh, once you're back in the slot uh, then turn it counterclockwise a quarter turn and it should stay in place uh, if it's not easy to do don't force it uh, you're not doing it right now here's the right side. The right side is much easier to get access to because it doesn't have this ridiculous uh, hose in the way that uh, pushes against your hand. On the right side, super easy just to reach up and you turn it not a full quarter turn to get it out. Uh, you turn it about, let's see, if you're at 12 o'clock underneath, you turn it to about 2 o'clock and then you feel it just slides out. So those, the, there's the housing of it uh, in and of itself right here. That's the bulb, and the bulb just simply pulls out. Um, I'm going to use two hands here and pause the camera so I can do it. I'm going to hold with the one hand, pull the bulb with the other hand. Um, try and avoid touching bulbs in general, especially if it's a headlamp. Uh, getting grease on it from your fingers will end up uh, causing it to pop. Everybody knows that. There's the bulb. I just pulled it out, held this piece with my uh, right hand, pulled it out with my left hand. There's the LED uh, bulb in place now, and you'll notice that there's a little bit of a gap uh, between the, uh, you might want to try and push it all the way in there, but it doesn't fit. Uh, it still makes a connection, and of course what you do is turn on your lights uh, to make sure that this lights up before putting it back into place, uh, which can be kind of a hassle. Uh, save yourself the work. Test it before uh, you put it in there. Okay, there's the light actually on and working. If at first it doesn't light up when you test your lights, um, pull it out, turn it around, and shove it in the other way. Um, there's a negative and positive and it has to make contact. Uh, so do that before you put it back into the housing. Otherwise, uh, you're just gonna have to do it again. Now you can see underneath the housing, I'm watching to try and get it to go up in there. And I can actually see myself feeding it up through the hole. Then it's a matter of lining it up. And this is always the tricky part. You've gotta figure out where it wants to line up so that it, there, pops into place. Uh, sorry if my camera work is bad on that. Uh, once it's in place, I turn it from 2 o'clock to 12 o'clock. I feel it click in place. I give it a pull. Make sure that it uh, it's staying in place there. And the camera goes out of focus. Uh, but there she is, ready to go.